Hi everyone, I hope you're all keeping well and making the most of this time uh, with your families. Uh, as many of you are aware, um, you would have had some uh, gum health reviews booked with me, but unfortunately due to the current situation, those would have been postponed or will be postponed. Uh, so I wanted to make this video just to recap over all the oral hygiene skills that we have worked hard to uh, hard together uh, to get right. Um, and hopefully it will just serve as an aid memoir for you all, um, just so that we can make sure that you're doing what you can to prevent the gum disease from relapsing or getting worse during this time period uh, until I can see you again. Uh, and I'm going to do this in the order that I usually recommend to you all. Um, so let's begin. So now. the first and probably the most important thing that I recommend to you all to use is your TP or interdental brushes. And it's important that you pick the right size. Um, so for me, I use the yellow color. And what you may wish to do is just slightly curve the tip so that it can go up and over the contact area between the teeth. Now, the other useful thing with TP brushes is it comes with a cap. The cap is usually to protect the brush, but you can also use it as an extra handle just on the tip so that you can reach those more difficult to get to areas at the back of the mouth. The brush has to be a snug fit. You should never have to force it through. And with that, it should never also be too easy to use. So I'm just going to show you exactly how you want to guide this through. So you guide the brush through up and over the contact and through the site, go up and out onto the back tooth as I'm doing five strokes and then up and out into the front tooth about five strokes and then pull out again. This yellow brush will not fit everywhere and you'll have to use different size brushes for all the different size gaps. For some of you that will mean having to use gray and even black brushes and I'll attach a link to the bottom of this email or message so that you can get those brushes from Amazon and all the other um, equipment that I'm using today, I'll, I'll put a link in for you so you can order those from online. So the next tool I recommend you guys to use is the single tufted brush. Um, this brush works in a slightly different way to TP brushes. And if you recall, the brush comes in such a, configuration that it can be angled outwards and you can take the cap off by unscrewing and it rotates and screws in the other side and gives you an inwards angle. So depending on which side of the mouth you're trying to clean, you can orientate the brush head that way. So, I'm going to... so you will angle the brush like so, upwards into the gum, Press on the tooth to display the bristles and swipe the bristles up and under the gum line. The gum will blanch, that's how you know you're reaching the right area and you work it back and forth like so. The last part or stage of brushing your teeth, the routine, will be your electric toothbrush. Now, I often recommend the Oral-B type toothbrushes uh, and those with the rotating oscillating heads and in particular I like the cross action or the floss action heads and again I'm going to show you exactly how to be using these. You need to brush your teeth first and then you're going to stop and then you're going to spit out the excess toothpaste and then you're going to go and brush your tongue and your cheeks as well to get rid of any of the residual bacteria in the mouth. After this point you're not going to rinse your mouth because you want to keep the fluoride from the toothpaste on the teeth for as long as possible. Remember with brushing your teeth, it's not a side to side swiping action. It's a roll up and down on every single tooth centered around the gum line, as I'm showing here. You need to work around every single tooth of the mouth and every single surface on the cheek side and also on the tongue side of the mouth. So I hope you've all found that video very useful. If you have any questions or any queries, um, please email the practice uh, and they'll forward it on to me and I'm more than happy to um, answer any questions you may have. I'll also, like I said, put the link to all these uh, gadgets so you can pick them up online. 
um, should you need to. Um, and I look forward to seeing you all again soon.